always a brilliant call from you, Nisbo, Grant Nisbet on Sky Sport. And just listening to the last words there, a boil over caused an upset. Well, the Chiefs go into tomorrow night's game and they are the favourites because they ain't no in the top of the table. Steve Gordon joins us, a former centurion for Waikato, Chiefs legend, former All Black. Welcome to the show, mate. Oh, geez, Marty, great to be back. Uh, great to hear you back on the airways too. And uh, I'm salivating already over the, the, the top of the table clash between the Crusaders and the Chiefs. It should be an absolute ripper. And probably a, a little bit more weighted uh, on the Crusaders' shoulders. They, they really need it to um, try and secure a home uh, playoff. And uh, the Chiefs just keep rolling on. That's yeah. a real good thing going on at the moment. Well, they have, haven't they? Eight and O. I mean, I always say the table doesn't lie. And this is a team... That, that when push comes to shove, have demolished the best teams in the comp. And, you know, you go back to that shutout a couple of weeks ago of the of the Hurricanes in the second half. You go back to that shutout of the Crusaders in the very first round. They're, they're two mightily impressive performances. Absolutely. And, and some of the other games, too, where they've, they've played relatively poorly, but still found a way to win. And I, I think that's the class to decide. When, you know, it's not running your way, but you're still got enough depth and... Um, like the intellect to work out a way that you're going to, you're going to get over the line and come away with four points. So what is it about this chief side this year that has A, impressed you so much and, and, and B, you know, raised them up a level to be the team in the comp that everyone else wants to be? I think the structure that, that, that Clayton's employing at the moment and uh, the belief he's got from his players to buy into that, um, their, their game plan. You can see it when he's rotating players through. You've got new personnel arriving in the a, in a match day 15, knowing exactly what the game plan is and what their role is in, is in implementing it. And you can see that time and time again, when, when, even when they uh, rotate players just through different positions, that they're, they're really comfortable and they all have a really in-depth understanding of what the team as a collective are trying to achieve. I think that's a, a testament to, to Clayton and, and his coaching team, how, how they've um, communicated to the team and got them to buy into it, uh, which is crucial if you're going to be successful in any team sport. Steve Gordon is with us. So just pinpoint a couple of areas that you think that they have really improved. Um, the, the set piece, you know, if you just go back a couple of years, their line out was an absolute shambles. And now they've got it up around 90%. Their, their scrum, they're really, really competitive um, when uh, on the opposition ball as well. So they're creating pressure. And obviously they've got a, a really good conversion rate in their own ball. So their set piece is key. 